Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a glowing car spread effect easy in After Effects. First of all let's duplicate the clip and then select a roto brush tool and double click on duplicated layer. Make sure to rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and then make sure to duplicate rotoscoped layer. Rename top one to main rotoscope. Then select bottom one and let's rename it to spread effect. Make sure spread effect layer is selected and then press P on a keyboard and click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now scroll to the middle and let's move the position up something like that. Now scroll to the very end and then right click on a position and select reset. Now make sure to scroll to the second position keyframe so we can see the effect clearly and then let's apply find edges effect. Make sure to check invert and then click on toggle switches slash modes and change spread layers blending mode to screen. Now let's apply curves effect. With a curve, I will make it more brighter and get rid of dark areas. Let's slightly drag shadows to the right like this. Then drag highlights to the left. Once you are happy with it, we can apply a glow. I will use a deep glow plugin, in case you don't have it, make sure to DM me on Instagram a word, plugins, and then wait for my reply. Under a deep glow effect, I will decrease an exposure to make it less brighter. That looks better to me. Now select position keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like mine. Let's close graph editor and then enable motion blur on spread effect layer and then we can check it. Looks fine, in case you want more of spread effects, make sure you are at a second position keyframe here and then duplicate that layer, then press P on your keyboard and move the position up. Duplicate as much as you wish, and once you are happy with them, we can check it one more time. Looks nice, but let's add shake effects. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.